Welcome to TFL SEMA Insider. Here at the show, we give you an inside look at all the latest stuff. There are many, many Ford Broncos here, but I wanted to show you specifically this one because I think it's one of the coolest ones. When the Bronco originally came to market in the 60s, they had something similar to this and we actually uh, purchased one of them several years ago. It was a half cab. Well, now at SEMA show, this is a custom version of basically of what I would call a Ford Bronco half cab. It's a two-door Bronco with a bed in the back and they actually fashioned a tailgate here with a slide out. It's not a very big bed, obviously, as you can tell. It's probably, I wanna say about three to four feet in length. Obviously, this is not the longest bed. Maybe you could also do this conversion with a four-door Bronco and maybe make it a little bit longer but it's also showing a BDS four inch lift with these 37s. So it's sitting quite high. It's basically uh, here in red as a kind of a fire, um, fire department machine. It's got customized bumpers, uh, many, many different accessories like those light, light bars right there. But I think just what makes it super cool and super unique because it's a little, it's a little pickup truck. Let me give you a wider view right here from the rear <laughs> i think the proportions on it are just crazy it's really hot high in the air it's got incredibly good clearance the pro approach breakover departure angles this one is also a four cylinder seven speed i think you can see the shifter inside of there so it's just a very cool build and i think it stands out in the sea of in the sea of other builds I think this little Bronco half cab has the presence. Of course, if you don't like that, you can also take a look at many, many other Bronco builds, including the one on tracks. Uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. We also have other videos, walk arounds, featuring other vehicles like this insane Bronco four door on snow tracks. You know, each one of those tracks could weigh, well, several hundred pounds and can cost upwards of ten thousand dollars or more just for one of them so that just tells you how much gearing and how much power you need to move a vehicle like that but nonetheless it would, it's really cool so there you go hello excuse me sorry there's a lot of people here but anyway i think that's my choice right there let me know what you think which bronco is your favorite Thanks.